Hello, welcome to make your own underwater hockey glove. Uh, the things you are going to need are some clear silicon, but if you only have white, uh, that will probably do. It's just there's a, a problem with a white colour if you're playing with a white bat. Um, exfoliating gloves that can be bought fairly cheaply from the supermarket. Latex gloves, powder paint, um, some washing up liquid and water. So they're all the things that you need. You can use acrylic paint instead of powder paint. Next, squeeze some of the clear latex into a tub and mix with acrylic or powder paint. Next, spread on some of the silicon onto the glove and you can rub it in. You can use another latex hand to, to really rub it into the fabric. Cover the whole glove, including the palm, with a thin layer of the latex. Of the Make sure every bit is covered uh, because it's just like sealing the glove to stop it rotting. Once covered, try, if you have access to a bat, put a ba bat in a plastic bag and get the grip that you would use for underwater hockey. And you now need to sit like this for about an hour in order for the silicon to dry. After a while you can squeeze your hand out but then leave the glove to dry for a little bit longer, half an hour, an hour. And now we're ready for the second layer which probably needs another person. So you want more on the bits where the puck's likely to hit and less on where you're gripping the bat. This is going to be the second layer and we will do a third layer which we then smooth over at the end with washing up liquid and water. Make sure you cover all the knuckles and just round the edge of the fingertips. Try and make it as smooth as you can, but don't worry too much. So this is the second layer. And leave to dry for about an hour. It's worth just separating your fingers a bit and smoothing it down as it's drying. And then go back to your shape again. After a while you can prise your hand out again and prop it up to leave it to dry. Okay, so just checking the underneaths. Got a bit more on, on our third layer now. The 
we need quite a lot on the knife and we're putting the top layer on now over the knuckles. This first finger gets quite a lot of bashing. Right, so just go up near the wrist. Third layer sticks quite well to the to the rest of it, so it's sort of easier to do in some ways. an extra bit on the thumb because it often gets a hole here. Right, just separating the fingers a bit and then we're going to smooth it off with some washing up liquid and water. And there we have the finished glove which will be ready to use in 24 hours.